hello guys welcome back to my channel uh i know it's been a long time since i last uploaded the video but i'm back now so today i want to do something and see uh i want to create a graph uh like application a basic application with c uh this is all possible because of a header file gtk this is pretty cool uh, header file you can like create a lots of cool things with this uh, GTK. I want to give you a basic um, tutorial on how to use this and like how the program is actually working on the roof. Uh, like I'm like learning this because I have like a semester project uh, and I have to like code in C. I cannot I cannot use any other language. Uh, so like i'm also learning uh, this gtk and i will also be making a video on it so that you guys can learn with me the if you want the link to this documentation i will be linking this in my description <coughs> my tutorial is going to be based on this documentation <coughs> so let's dive straight into the coding so first of all we gotta include our gtk library right so our program today will contain two main function right one is of course main function uh the reason i'm like creating uh integer and i'm creating integer function is because uh we'll have to return an integer value later on the video i'll like be explaining that later on for now, let's create our second function. The second function has to be a static void. Uh, I mean, it has to be static. Uh, okay, let's call this activate function, right? Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to write uh, activate function. I only mean to write activate, right? So, Uh, let's return zero for now so as you can see that we have two function uh, this activate and the, our main function so let's first understand the purpose of individual functions right so for main function it has two main purpose the first one is to run or call activate function right the second one is to uh, close or destroy uh, the activate function and after it is destroyed it will also release uh, it from the memory uh, of your operating system right so let's uh, yeah the main function has like two purpose one is to call and one is to destroy or like uh, close right so let's talk about the activate function it has to be static because anytime you call this function uh, it has to be it has to have the same value it has to have same uh, thing so we are using static and it will return nothing uh, so we are using a void so let's talk about the parameter we are going to pass in here the first one is obviously like uh, gtk application we'll call we, we are going to pass a pointer uh, and so these are two pointers uh for now ignore this g pointer we uh we i will be hopefully i will be talking about this in future video uh for now our main uh pointer here is this uh gtk application uh like app pointer right Where our main uh pointer is we'll be doing everything with this right so first thing is we have to create a widget sorry uh, we have to create a pointer that points to a widget 
लाइक चिटकी विजेट विंडो सो आई क्रिएटेड अ पॉइंटर विंडो दैट पॉइंट्स टू चिटकी विजेट Uh, if you guys uh, are not familiar with uh, the pointer, I suggest you to check it out before like uh, watching this video because everything we are doing here uh, requires the basic understanding of pointer. But in summary, pointer is just like pointing towards the memory address of something, and we uh, use asterisk to create pointer, like uh, say like I have like integer and I can just let's say uh num1 then i will be like i will be like referencing it uh to the memory address of num uh num1 uh, integer memory address uh it's like it's pretty in c we do not have uh object oriented programming so we use structure and pointer to get away uh with most of the things right so let's like try to create a window let's try to generate a window right a window first okay uh, let's um application so like in this window we have basically create a new application window and this is all in this application right we have like <coughs> we have created a window in this application uh, so like this is just saying that so uh okay let's think about it a window contains a uh, window has like two main property the one is size the first one is is size and the second one is is title so let's like try to um let's try to um create a title for our windows right so we can do that by like uh, gtk with this command or with this function okay so we have to pass here we have to pass window here and then it will the second parameter is going to be string so uh, we are going to like uh, pass hello here so in documentation there is like uh, this gtk slash window so this gtk window will basically check if this window is instance of uh the gtk uh, pointer uh pointer instance of this gtk widget or not if it is true then it will return windows if it's not then it will like uh, it will give us an error it will like help us to like uh it makes debugging easier basically it will just check if this uh, window pointer is like in sense of gtk widget or not right so <clears throat> for size we can like do gtk window set default size no we're going to do 400 by 400 and this is going to be our default size so basically we are just like uh specifying the size of the window it's going to be 400 wide and 400 in length so this is the, this is the basic of uh creating or uh, defining our window now we have to sew it so we are going to be so present so now let's like try to run it 
okay so in the main function uh first of all let's try to like um let's try to uh call the function okay so in order to call the function we need to do few things first first of all let's uh make a pointer that we have to pass in uh pass here right so let's name it the same thing app right because it's standard thing oh yeah, yeah i forgot about uh, the argument that uh, the arguments that we have to pass into the main function so we have to pass this and the pc so let's talk about this integer argc so this is like integer that like uh, takes count of how many argument has been passed and this uh, argv is an array of pointer that points to array of character object right so that is like the uh there is two argument that we need to pass into the main function so let's create another uh it is a valid status uh we'll be talking about this and uh a prison yeah so first of all let's create our application so gtk application new because we are creating a new so let's name it app dot taste dot uh youtube so this there is a naming convention here that i think i think i have to mention it was uh mentioned in uh documentation as well i'm not exactly uh sh sure about a lot of uh about this but according to documentation that you have to like um, write a naming convention three words uh, separated by two dots like this right it's supposed to be a naming convention so now like okay so right now we have created an application but this application and this function this application and this function has like no relationship right now so in order to connect this two we need to like uh we need to connect them to uh we need to like hardcore uh we need to like uh use this function z signal connect to connect these two right this is like this is where it gets pretty interesting i think like this z signal connect is going to be a main function uh while learning gtk uh like i say i just like learned uh, the basic of the documentation i'm like so i don't know but uh, from the from uh, like this point of view i think the signal conic is going to be a very important function okay so because it connects two things like it connects this application and connects and custom function right user defined function i find that pretty fascinating anyway so like it's argument let's talk about this argument first of all it will take an instance like what do you want to connect for now uh, for uh, right now we want to connect this app right and it will say instance and detail signal the second argument is detail signal the detail signal as we want to uh sorry we want to uh activate not connect activate we want to activate this function right and when it's like when this app is activate we want to call we want to call this function activate and we are going to pass null for this right so basically this is saying that whenever this application is activate call this function so this will run right so now we have like uh, connected this application and our uh, function so 
we need to like use uh we need to like um find uh, like we need to uh okay we need to like uh we need to return some integer value and then uh like we need to put it in the status right so now we are actually going to run this application here we have like just created this app pointer and we have just like uh put a gtk new application in this app pointer here we have connected function and uh this application here we are going to run this application we are finally going to run this application so uh the command is we have it's the application not activate sorry run and the application that is our uh, that is our app right it's the application that is our app and we are going to pass some argument that is a r z c and argument value we are going to pass this value then okay so like i told you the main function will have uh like two main purpose this is calling or activating function here we have like define uh necessary variable error pointers right here we have like uh created a new application and stored it in the pointer and here we have connected app and this function and here we have like actually run this function now we also have to like destroy this uh we have also have to like define a behavior when we destroy this object so according to doc documentation this uh, this line of code is going to uh release this status uh, whatever the value this status holds right that is the uh, application is running and and also it's going to release the memory that the, that application occupies in your operating system so this is pretty important and we are going to return status and hopefully like finger crush but hopefully this will compile without any error but that rarely happens okay yeah so like we got an error let's see in a function activate warning declaration of function gtk window present uh let me try to debug this no like we are definitely going to use window present yeah i'm sorry my bad so yeah there we go we have a basic window right uh in next video hopefully i'll be like continuing from this point on and i will be like teaching you how to like create add buttons and uh, add box and how to like make the button interactable and like i will like teaching you how to print something when you click the button right uh, so thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you guys in next video thank you very much and if i got anything wrong then please please point me out in comment section thank you